In this lecture, I'll show you how to hack routers and other embedded devices like IP cameras using Router Exploit. The Router Exploit framework is an open source exploitation framework written in Python and dedicated to embedded devices. It scans devices on your network to see if there is any vulnerability to a known exploit. For example, the VPN filter malware is such an exploit designed to infect routers and it's estimated to have infected hundreds of thousands of routers worldwide. Such an exploit can be easily turned into a module and launched using router exploit. The solution to such a vulnerability is in most cases a firmware upgrade. But how often do you check if there is any new firmware available for your router or your security cameras? I suppose that never or not too often anyway. Most people set up routers and forget about them. They don't change the default password, update the firmware or protect them in any way. Such a vulnerability is like a monster sleeping in your room and waiting to be woken by someone interested in finding it. Let's move on and see what are the components of router exploit. Router exploit consists of various modules that aid penetration testing operations. Exploits are modules that take advantage of identified vulnerabilities. It's similar to Metasploit. Creds are module designed to test credentials against network services. Scanners are modules that check if a target is vulnerable to any exploit. Then comes the payloads, which are modules that are responsible for generating payloads for various architectures and injection points. And generic are modules that perform generic attacks. Before showing you how to scan routers and other embedded devices for vulnerabilities, I want to start with a legal disclaimer. You are allowed to use router exploit only on your own devices or on devices for which you've got permission. Let's get started and see how to install and use router exploit. If you are using Kali Linux, you can install it automatically using apt because it's in the official repositories. I'm searching for router exploit. apt search router exploit. And it found the package. However, I'm gonna install it manually from the official website because I want to stay up to date. The installation is simple and I will just follow the official installation guide. First, I'm installing Python pip. The next step is to clone the GitHub repository. Then I'll cd into router exploit directory and install the requirements. I'm copying and then pasting this line. I'm moving to router exploit directory and here I'm pasting the line. It's installing some requirements. Perfect, router exploit has been installed. In this directory, there is a Python file called rsf.py. This is router exploit. I am starting it. Python 3 and the name of that file, rsf.py. Note that you have to be in the router exploit directory. The router exploit framework has opened up and you see that the interface and style are similar to that of Metasploit. A command line interface is available and you can see everything Router Exploit has to offer by typing show all. We see the modules. As you can see in the output, 
there are a lot of exploits, default credentials, and scanners. If you want to search for a specific exploit or for exploits for a specific vendor, you use the search command. For example, I'm searching for anything related to Cisco. Search Cisco. I've got exploits for Cisco routers, cameras, or modules for finding the credentials. Or I could search only for exploits like this. Search type equals exploits. It's showing us only the exploits. Or I could search for anything related to cameras. Search device equals cameras. Okay, this is how you use router exploit. You type exit when you want to close router exploit. There is also the possibility to automatically update router exploit modules, and I'd recommend you to do so since, according to the router exploit website, the project is under heavy development and the new modules are shipped almost every day. To update router exploit, run git pull in the router exploit directory. Git pull. It's already up to date. I've just installed it. At the end of this lecture, I want to introduce you to a new term called flytrap. A flytrap is a router that has been compromised and updated with a special firmware that prevents the user from updating or modifying the new firmware. Cherry Blossom is an exploitation framework that can transform vulnerable Wi-Fi routers into flytraps. They are advanced remote spying devices capable of being controlled from anywhere. Okay, we'll take a short break and we'll see after that how to exploit the default gateway using router exploit.